You ask her your questions and she replies Her answers are lame, but at least she tries Colleen's Corner Hi, welcome to Colleen's Corner, where every Tuesday I answer your questions. Let's get to your questions right now. How do you pick questions for your vids? I never get picked. I don't like answering really generic questions. So the more interesting your question is, the more likely it is I'm going to pick it. Also, don't ask the following questions. How did you come up with the idea for Miranda? Are you Miranda? When did you create Miranda? How long have you been doing Miranda? Where did you come up with the name Miranda? Are you a virgin? If Josh was dead, who would you have sex with? Follow me. Who's your least favorite YouTuber? If you had to kill someone in your family, who would you kill? Give me a shout out. Why do you never answer my question? I wanna lick your pussy. Listen, anything you wanna know about Miranda is on the internet because I have answered those questions so many times. All of the other questions are just none of your business. Hi, can you do a handstand? I can sure try. Oh my God, did I do it? If you could be invisible for a day, then how would you spend that day? All my love to you and your family, you're amazing. Aw, oh, thanks, Amy. If I got to be invisible for a day, I can almost guarantee you that I would just sit in my bed because I don't want to know what people are saying about me when I'm not there. You know, I have good faith that all of my friends and family are just sweet and loving about me when I'm not around, but something tells me that that's not the case. So I'd rather just chill out and chill in my room and if people have something to say to me, they can say it to me when I'm not invisible, but I don't wanna be a fly on your wall. I'm no clay Aiken, I'm not a creeper. What do you smell like? Oh, William, I can tell you exactly what I smell like. Let me tell you a little story. Earlier today, I saw a bottle of lotion and I thought to myself, my arms feel a little chafy. Might as well put on some of this lotion. But of course I didn't want to just put on the lotion without smelling it first. What if it smelled terrible? So I wanted to take a little whiff. I picked up the bottle of lotion, brought it close to my nostrils, did a little squeeze to see if I could get some of the scent to come out. A lot more than the scent came out of the bottle because the lotion went all over me. So now I smell very strongly of triple berry the doodle lotion. That was fun. Oh, who is calling me? It's my fiance. Hey, babe. Can you say synonym, synonym five times fast? Wow, I can't even say it once. Synonym, synonym. 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 No, I can't do it. I give up. Unana, what's my name? Unana, what's my name? Unana, what's my name? thing to get from Taco Bell. You guys, I have not had Taco Bell in a very, very long time. I know, it's really sad. A while ago I told you guys that I'm trying to eat healthier and I'm still trying to do that. Yes, I like the occasional pizza and cheeseburger from time to time, but for the most part I try to stay really healthy. And Taco Bell was my snack. Like, I would go to Taco Bell to get a snack in the middle of the day, which obviously is really bad for you. And now I don't do that because I have plenty of healthy snacks right here in my apartment. I've talked about this before and I really love this so I'm gonna talk about it again. I love NatureBox. NatureBox is a monthly subscription plan where you can basically go shopping for healthy products online and they get sent right to your doorstep and you can either pick your own stuff that you want sent to your house or you can let them pick healthy snacks for you. The two things for my NatureBox this month that I'm obsessed with are the lemon pucker pistachios and the honeycomb sunflower kernels. These are amazing. These I love because they remind me of, this is gonna sound really corny. These remind me of my grandpa. I used to go to the farmer's market with my grandpa every week and who is texting me right now? And we would get pistachios together and so they remind me of my grandpa and they're super delicious and help. Seriously? Don't text me, I'm talking about Nature Box. They're delicious. The best part about them is that there's no high fructose corn syrup or trans fats. It's just healthy organic ingredients and they're so good. And I'm gonna hook you guys up so you get 50% off if you use my code naturebox.com slash Colleen. So go get some. When you eat ice cream, do you bite into it or do you lick? Are you crazy? Who bites into ice cream? Is that possible? That is suicide. I feel like that would hurt so much. I don't think I could ever do that. I certainly lick ice cream or I use a spoon and put it in my mouth past the teeth because 
That would hurt. Do, do you do that? Does anyone do that? Leave a comment below. Tell me if any of you bite ice cream and how much it hurts. Because that sounds terrible. Who would you rather be stranded on a desert island with? Paula Deen or Perez Hilton? Of course I'd rather be stranded with my girl, Paula Deen, because that woman can cook and she'd be able to make sure that I was fed properly while I was on the stranded island. Not only that, but Perez Hilton would just like make fun of my leaf skirt that I made. All right, that's all the questions I'm gonna answer for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Queen's Corner. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to leave a comment below telling me if you've ever bitten into ice cream and give that like button a little push. Push it with your finger even though I'm using my thumb because it really helps me out. It makes me super, super happy. You guys are the best. Uh, thanks for always watching me and supporting me. I love you so much and I will see you next time. Bye. I hate watching this. I'm cringing all over. I hate it.